A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Tuesday, March 26th. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. The Newburgh City Council has approved spending over $37,000 for room and board for a weekend retreat at Mohonk Mountain House in New Paltz, and that came on the heels of approval of almost $25,000 for a consulting firm to lead workshops for council members. Mohonk is more than 28 miles from Newburgh City Hall at the federal mileage reimbursement rate of 67 cents per mile. A round trip would cost less than $40. When the consulting contract for the workshops was approved by the City Council on February 22nd, the City justified it as a learning tool for the Council. There's one member who is in his first term. The remaining six members have been serving for a number of years. When the contract with Mohawk Mountain House was approved weeks later, there was no discussion by Council members. The weekend retreat is planned for Friday, April 19th through Sunday, April 21st. The contract with the resort calls for 10 single occupancy rooms at a cost of $903 per night. Contract banquet food and beverage revenue, including day attendees, totals $18,000. Town Supervisor Ozzy Albro would like to explore development of tiny homes for veterans in Fishkill. The town had eyed land for such a project, but its availability was lost. Albu would like to explore something similar to the Rumshock Village for veterans in the city of Port Jervis. It could take some time waiting to see what the governor comes up with her housing address. And then once we find out uh, what's going on with that, then we can make a a program in the town of Fishco that can help with uh, veterans and maybe some accessory buildings or accessory dwellings within the town of Fishco. The project in Port Jervis will see 10 tiny homes constructed for homeless veterans. A 33-year-old gardener man has been indicted, arrested, and arraigned for the death of 22-year-old SUNY New Paul student Raymond Rattray, who was struck and killed as he walked home from class on January 23rd. Following an extensive investigation, Tyler Ty Cobelt was indicted by an Ulster County grand jury and arrested on Friday, March 22nd. Cobelt's decision to drive away was a lack of respect for human life, says Sheriff Juan Figueroa. The hit and run of Raymond Rattray on the date that the detective who sent it stated a minute ago in January. The arrest of, of Ty Colbert on Friday really uh, has been uh, just pretty tough here in Ulster County with the recent fatalities and uh, vehicular accidents uh, just this year alone. There have been four pedestrians killed in hit and run accidents in recent Ulster County history, and efforts are underway to prevent the tragedies, said County Executive Jen Metzger. The two-week recess taken by the House of Representatives, while several key issues remain unresolved, proves the Republican-controlled body is in total dysfunction. Congressman Pat Ryan, a Democrat, said yesterday, Ryan pointed to a delay in providing funds for Ukraine in its war against Russia, aid to Israel in its war against Hamas and other hotspot areas around the world. This dysfunction has had a real effect. I mean, we were six to seven months late in getting a budget passed. We finally did that last week. We need aid to Ukraine. We need aid to Israel. We need aid to uh, Taiwan. We need a border security fixes. All of this legislation is ready to go. It's passed through the Senate. But the dysfunction of the current House leadership, which which is under the leadership of the Republicans right now, it's really hurting the country. Ryan said there are far too many people in Washington who are engaged in what he called performance art. He's here. The Easter Bunny is visiting the Galleria at Crystal Run every day now until Easter. And he's not camera shy. Get your picture taken with Mr. Peter Cottontail. Children, families, and even pets are welcome. Now you can make an appointment ahead of time at whereisbunny.com. Reservations are strongly encouraged. Just go to galleriacrystalrun.com for all the details and happy Easter. The Ulster County Department of Health and Planning has received $326,000 to implement a lead prevention pilot program to conduct lead remediation in multifamily rental units serving low- and moderate-income tenants, helping protect residents and at-large populations 
from the dangers of lead poisoning. The program will focus on helping tenants in state-designated communities of concern. That includes the area within the 12401 Kingston zip code. The county has identified 100 properties in that zip code with confirmed lead hazards. The program serves as a first step to help the county and local municipalities prepare for a more comprehensive lead remediation effort as part of the state health department's lead hazard rental registry, which will be launched next year. Those sticky trays of adhesive that are designed to trap rodents and other small animals will not be sold at any Adams Ferry or farm stores in the Mid-Hudson going forward after the effects were brought to their attention by PETA. PETA Executive Vice President Tracy Ryman said by banning the glue strips, Adams is sparing countless mice, birds, and other small animals a terrifying death. The animal rights organization said wildlife, including birds, snakes, mice, rats, and squirrels that get stuck in the adhesive on the glue traps struggle desperately to escape, sometimes chewing off their own limbs before succumbing to shock, dehydration, asphyxiation, or blood loss. The organization said glue traps fail as a long-term solution because they neglect to address the source of the problem. As long as food remains accessible, more animals will move in to take the place of those who have been killed, PETA says. A man in custody in the Orange County Jail in Goshen died of unknown causes on Sunday. Officials said yesterday an autopsy will be conducted to determine the cause of death, they said. The Sheriff's Administration and staff are working with the State Attorney General's Office on the continuing investigation. Authorities did not identify the man. Police in the city of Newburgh investigated reports of gunshots in the area of 48 Bankard Avenue on Monday evening. The report indicated at least three shots were fired with damage to a vehicle. There were no reports of injuries, and police continue to investigate the incident. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.